Okay, so today we're going to talk about handle stabilizers and gimbals. What's their deal? What are they? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so hey guys. Alex today here and this is Dynamic Range Productions. Now, I can't count the amount of times where I've been in public and someone will walk up to me and or call those things a camera stand. And like you can imagine the kind of confused look I would have had on my face, camera stand, really. Heck, I, I've even had somebody walk up to me and be like, oh, that's a nice camera stand. Oh, please, where can I get one? I want to use it for makeup tutorials. Makeup tutorials. You want to use this or this <laughs> for makeup tutorials <laughs> and I'm like sister you don't want to know how much these things are because you will not be using these things for makeup tutorials trust me so no ladies and gentlemen these two things are not camera stands even though I can understand the confusion so what is a gimbal or a handle stabilizer in the first place to put it plainly these are basically just tools that you use in order to get smooth steady footage when you're videoing to eliminate camera shake when you're filming videos or when you're recording videos and you want to in incorporate movement these two things they eliminate to an extent camera shake that wobbly handheld camera shake they, get, they handle those things and they both handle it in different ways all right so let's get this out of the way and let's talk about the first one on our list the handle stabilizer this guy so basically like I said, this is used to eliminate all kinds of camera shake that you'll probably have in your video shots. But this one, versus again, but this one is actually a very more kinetic kind of tool. You have to, like, you are fully in control of what you're going to be using. As you can see, like, you wonder why this is like this, this handle is here, this is this. So some people might even call this even more difficult to use than the latter because it requires more effort to do it in order to get stable shots. But it does actually make a drastic difference. And you you don't just like carry your camera and place it on top of it and man, you just go and start shooting video. No. As you can see, there are actually weights at the bottom. These things here are weights. I can remove them and add more if I desire. So you actually have to balance this thing. You put your camera on it, you balance it vertically, then the left to the right tilts, then lastly the front to the back tilts. Now, and when you do this correctly, your stabilizer should perfectly stand still and you should have pretty good stable shot when you're holding yeah you don't just go around holding it one-handed no you actually have to use two hands and turn make it stable and do all those kind of stuff with this thing and most people will like will, will, would consider that more tasking because like i said it, it is more manual yeah you, you have to like full control but it, it does actually help a lot and actually god this was my first stabilizer that i ever got in my filmmaking or video shooting career Okay, now that we're done with this, let's get the other ver, the other guy in short. The gimbal. The gimbal, yeah, weird name. Someone says weird name. But basically, this serves the exact same purpose as the handle stabilizer. But this one is a more modernized version of that. It's computerized, it uses uh, motors, right? It has like motors in between these arms and all through around here that actually hold the camera in place when you're shooting video like instead of having this one this one like you have to be the one to hold it in place when you're shooting but this one the computer and the, the motors hold the camera in place when you're shooting the video which are actually easier and more convenient to do when you're shooting video but still yes you don't still just put your camera on top um the axis or whatever and just go and start shooting video randomly like this you actually have to still balance it your, 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 your camera is going to go on top of here like this you, you, you actually have to still go and balance it you balance the tilt axis you balance the roll axis and the pan axis right so when you do that that's when you actually have to now turn it on and start using it and it does have some benefits as opposed to the handle stabilizer right it, it has you can do more fluid movements with it, smoother movements with less effort and since it's, um, it has joysticks at the back so you can use to control everything and it does also have some extra things that you cannot actually do with 
a disandest stabilizer. You actually it, it does kind of a lot more tricks than the stabilizer. So, but they do both same same problem. And I would not say that one is better than some because as to everything, they are actually both downsides to this and downsides to this. So let's talk about that. So. As to every kind of thing, there are downsides to this one or this one, right? The stabilizer and this. As you can see, this one looks more rugged. It looks more, it's actually heavier. If you put the weights on it, you're going to get more heavier than this. But this one, it looks more cool, but it's still a little bit actually more fragile than this. You can, this one, you can just throw it skin to this one. I think you can just throw this. <laughs> but basically, the downside to having a gimbal, not all gimbals, though, but like, lightweight small gimbals like this which is the DJI Run SC is that you can't actually fly heavier cameras and heavier big set setups on it because of the way it, it, it's designed and because of it has a limited um, weight capacity if you if I would say like you can each gimbal has their own specific weight capacity but this one I think is like about um, three point something um, pounds or something I can't remember but I think yeah I think something kg I can't remember whereas this guy this guy can carry a lot more I mean you actually like I see it's extendable I can I can't really extend this password it, it extends I can extend this with this breaky ball I can add more weight if I need more weight to add it can get heavier I can put basically I can put more heavier things on this setup than this setup right so they both have their downside the upside as far as this one i can't do as much as i would do with this easier the whole turning and this thing it's more difficult to do here but that doesn't mean that it's obsolete i mean why would i choose between one when i can have both <laughs> so i hope that wasn't too confusing and at least you guys knew or know what these things are now so yeah you won't just walk up to somebody in public and embarrass yourself or you don't see them be like oh yes i know what these things are if they are both camera stands they are tripods <laughs> no see that they're not tripods and if you do actually want to make see me make directed videos on this and this of how, of how i actually balance them and how do you, you actually balance them properly leave a comment below i'd like to see that so if you did learn something or i just got entertained by me if you are in the market for this, I'll leave the links to this in the description below where yeah, I got them and you can get different ones. But if you do, do already have them, which, which one do you have? Do you have this one? Or do you have this? Or like me? Do you have both? There are different versions of this and there are different versions of this as well, like different brands that make the two same things. But the device is a device, they both serve the same purpose. So I guess that's it for me, guys. I look today here. This is an Amigo Introduction Sound. I'll see you in the next one.